Welcome to episode three of my one pot series where we're making one pot recipes all week long. Tonight we're making corn and crab bisque. We're gonna start off by melting down one stick of butter. Once your butter's melted, you're gonna add in one yellow onion, finely diced, and a shit ton of garlic. And I'm using my baby shit ton of garlic garlic chopper. I added the garlic in with the onions. I'm gonna cook this until the onions become translucent. Now that my onions are translucent, everything's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and add in two heaping tablespoons of flour. And then you're gonna mix that into the butter. This is what's called a roux. This is what's gonna help thicken up our sauce. We don't want it real dark, so you're only gonna cook this for about three or four minutes until the raw flour taste is gone. If y'all are interested, I started a YT. It's Mississippi Queen official. That's the only right one. There's no videos on it yet, so just make sure you're following the correct one or you can follow the link in my bio. I'm gonna be posting longer form recipe videos and some more like cleaning content over there. Our roux is good to go. Now we're gonna add two cups of chicken broth and then mix that real fast to get it combined with the flour and butter. And then you're gonna add in 32 ounces of heavy whipping cream. That's this whole container. Now we're gonna season this up with some onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of Tony's, cause you already know I love me some Tony's, and a little bit of salt. Now normally I get fresh corn and I roast it in the oven or on the grill, but tonight I'm just gonna use a 15 ounce can of the fire roasted and one cup of frozen corn. Now you wanna bring this to a low simmer, cover it and let it go for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm adding two eight ounce containers of blue crab meat. Now, if you don't like crab, cause I know some people don't, you can do shrimp instead, or you can leave both of those out and just do the corn and eat it just like this. This has been going for about 15 minutes and it's thickened up real nice. Now I'm gonna add in the crab meat. Now I like some bigger chunks of mine and this is very delicate. So I normally fold this into the soup. And like I always tell you, if you don't know how to fold something, there's a really good episode of Shit's Creek that'll show you how to. I can't show y'all everything. Now that your crab meat's in, you're gonna cover it up and let it go about 10 more minutes on a low simmer. All right, y'all, here it is, all done. I normally serve this with crispy garlic bread. Here's my dinner bowl. I had to take a picture of it because this recipe is gonna be in the March issue of Gulf Coast Women's Magazine.